back to another video. Today we're playing Caramel Moca Mochaccino. It is in its demo phase, so the full game is now yet, yeah, but it has been fully fundraised on uh, Kickstarter. So if you guys want to check it out and get more details about it, I'll leave a link in the description. Also, in case you want to download the demo, the link will also be in the description for this game. It is only a demo, but we're going to play through the demo and see what we think. And we might play through the full game if we enjoy the demo. Alpha Bill, May 16th. Welcome to Aramel Mochettino Alpha Demo 1.1. We worked on this demo during Nano, Nano Reno 2016, but we have to extend this development until April 16th and then polish some of the assets and features until the Chaos campaign launch. The demo shows a number of unfinished assets though. This demo has finished sprites for all the main cast, sketch sprites for a few secondary characters, and black silhouettes for other minor characters. The backgrounds are all inked, sketched placeholders, while only to a final game quality. Some CGs are finished, while the rest are mostly inked and flat colored without a background. A couple of CGs are text placeholders. Some of them are where we'd like to have CGs if we reach our CGs level up. Stretch goal, well you re reach like all your goals, so you don't have to worry about that. Music is mostly royalty free, placeholders with only 3 pieces from the final OST, some scenes are musicless. You can find the credits for the royal free pieces at the end of the game. The GUI is a placeholder for this demo only, so it's very rough in several parts. We now have a back to main menu button, yay! Features not present in this version of the demo. Activities, screen. Replace with choice menu instead. Activity chibis. Exploring town and shopping. Nature sing mini game when working. Money spending. All original OST. Proper calendar days. The demo covers roughly two weeks of the game. The most of week one intro is linear. The final game is planned to be about eight weeks long. The choices you make during the demo will affect some optional scenes and dialogue. You can also get four different endings to the demo, influenced by your choices. So already, we can get multiple endings. Well, dang diggity dog, this is gonna be tough. I bet there's a bad ending. We hope you have fun with this little sneak peek and let us know what you think. All feedback is extremely appreciated. Apple Slider and C and Demo Team. Well, let's see what we think. Nico, get out of the bathroom. My phone is in there. Yeah, well, stop leaving your stuff in here. I'll be out in a minute. I'm fixing my hair. Nobody cares about your dumb hair. Fina, stop yelling at your brother and Nico. Nobody cares about your hair. So mean, Mom. Fina, stop calling your phone. A tinny pop song echo- A tinny? A tinny pop song? A tiny pop song echoes down the hall and my eyes flutter open. I groan and pull the pillow over my head. Oh, she's cute! Just five more minutes. I hear the door open. Penny, sweetie, you can use the bathroom now. Thanks, auntie. Oh, she's adorable. I miss my quiet family. These past few weeks have been nothing but chaos. I'm grateful they're letting me stay here while I attend Kelvin Grove University, but... Alright, school starts today. Look at how pretty this artwork is. I hope the floor isn't covered in wet towels again. Oh, this must be one of the sketch backgrounds. It looks really good so far. Oh, this is Nico. Took you long enough. Well, someone caused a traffic jam in the bathroom. Yeah, what she said. Oh, Serafina's cute. Well, it looks like everyone is ready for school. I still can't believe Penny's attending the same school we did. And I can't believe it's already been 20 years since we were there. Has it changed at all since then? Mom and Dad said the only thing they added was a new paint job. Is that so? At least we won't get lost if we visit. Before you all leave, I'm going grocery shopping this afternoon. I'll need to pick up some pudding to celebrate everyone's first day of school. Oh, oh, I want chocolate. Pudding's for kids. I love chocolate too. Yeah, then I wouldn't mind. Uh, butterscotch? Oh, he's like a Cindy. Kind of. Oh, what a mature flavor. Just shut up. <laughs> Thank you, Auntie. See you later. Bye, Mom. Bye, Dad. Later. Good luck with your new classes. Have fun. 
Nico and Serafina join me on the sidewalk, both of them gripping their bicycles. They're fit. Not going ahead? Well, we can at least stick with you for part of the way. I like that. We start walking in a row with Serafina in the middle. So nervous? A bit. I can't decide if I'm more excited or scared. It's exciting to be attending university, but I know it won't be anything like high school. In high school, you know everybody, and the homework is easier. You're lucky you've still got another year left. How is that lucky? At least you'll study whatever you want, and you'll meet new people there. And then next year when I met Calvin, I... What? He's just mad he won't be... <laughs> Aww, he's just mad he won't be in the same class as you next year. Maybe you can fail some. I'm not failing my first year for that. It'd be nice though. Aww. See, he was thinking that. I wasn't. I love the facial expressions. Ow, don't tuck my hair. She punches Nico in the shoulder and I can't help but giggle. Well, I could apply to be a teaching assistant, then I'd be in your classes, Nico. That works. Although I'd feel bad for any students turning to you for help. Hey, my high school grades were as good as yours. On the side street, Fina, helmet. I know, I know. See you later, Penny. Good luck. And don't fail for my brother's sake. <laughs> of course, you two enjoy your first day too. Take care, Penny. Oh, they're such cute characters. I waved them off before counting down the same street. I mean, before continuing down the same street. <laughs> I count down the streets. Um, a few blocks later, I started noticing for rent signs hanging on the doors of some of the apartments I passed by. By now, though, they probably don't have many vacant rooms left. I'm sure they're popular with university students since they're so close to the campus. I wonder what it would be like to have my own place, ha? Huh? As if I'd need money for that. Still, it'd be nice. I pause and look at one of the smaller buildings, deep in Bosch. No one is coming to help you. Eep. Oh, he looks kind of dark and evil. <laughs> he looks mad. Unless you have an appointment, they only hold open houses on Saturdays. Uh, thanks for the heads up. I was just looking. I see, you were standing there for a while, so I figured you were just waiting for someone. Nope, I should get going. Bye. Wait, are you a freshman? Is he hitting on me? He's literally just asking a few questions, girl. That's not hitting on you. Oh, uh, yes? The school's this way. I freeze mid-step. He made me so nervous I was heading in the wrong direction. I'm sorry for scaring you. I'm Ian. I go to Kelvin Grove too. He offers his hand, and after hesitating, I give it a shake. Penelope, but I go by Penny. Now, I really like that name. Penelope Penny. We should get moving or you'll miss the Dean's introductory speech. It's very inspiring. <laughs> you see him walking. He seems pretty friendly, but he still makes me a bit nervous. So I keep my face forward. He fiddles with the headphones hanging around his neck. So, are you new here? I recently moved here to study. Are you looking for a place closer to the campus? Oh no, nothing like that. I'm staying with a family who are friends of mine. Well, I thought they were cousins, so I was a little bit confused by Nico. Lucky, believe me, it beats living alone. I miss home-cooked meals and neatly folded laundry on the couch. I bet it's more peaceful, though. True, and you don't have to worry about anyone hogging the bathroom. That's their problem. Too many people hogging that bathroom. This is why you need more than one bathroom in every single household. We here. Good luck with your classes. You too. There are some students handing out pamphlets up ahead. I recommend getting one. Oh, thanks. No problem. Later. He turns and briskly walks off. Kind of abruptly. Maybe his boss will start soon. Still, it was sweet of him to accompany me this far. Well, it's really packed here. It's not like my old school. It's also huge. Just looking at it, you can tell it's an old and prestigious university with a rich history behind it. Despite its age, it's well kept, complete with trimmed lawns and trees lined up next to the paths. My parents went here, now it's my turn. I hope I'm not out of my element. Now where are those students Ian was talking about? Oh, I see them. Oh, that's such a little cute. Oh, the art is so pretty. It's so cute. Hello, welcome to Calvin Grove University. First time here? Yep, freshman. 
Young Man hands me a pamphlet. Here, this has a list of campus resources and other information. There's also a map of the campus on the back. You made it just in time. There's a welcoming speech in the auditorium in 15 minutes. I'll be sure to attend. I heard the Dean's speeches are pretty inspiring. Haha, <laughs> inspiring? Can't argue with that. That's one way of putting it. I am Barbara and this is Franco. We're teaching assistants here, so we'll be floating around campus all day. Feel free to wave us down if you have any questions or just want to say hi, um, Penny. Nice to meet you, Penny. I hope you enjoy your time at Calvin. Thank you. This is weird. I'm not even in university yet. <laughs> uh, the two leave to welcome other students and I open up the pamphlet. Great. The business and economics building is nearby. It's so that all my classes are posted in the same building. Nice. It's still so the library and the cafeteria as well. I should explore when I have the chance. Um... I look- Oh, she's cute! She's adorable! I look up from the map and spot a girl shuffling around, looking fretful. She timidly raises a hand to catch Barbara and Frank girl's attention, but they're occupied with another student. She sighs and waits patiently. I approach her and hand her the pamphlet. Here, you were hoping to grab one? Ah, thank you! She accepts the pamphlet and opens it. She scans the map, but still seems lost. Are you looking for something? The business building. Oh hey, I'm going there too. Wanna go together? My first class is Introductory Algebra 1. Lovely. I love algebra. <laughs> um, so same. I guess that makes those classmates. Oh, she's so cute. For your classmates, then let's introduce ourselves. I'm Penelope, but my friends call me Penny. Wait, Anais? But my friends call me Annie. Are you going to attend the welcoming speech? It should be starting any minute. Oh yes, I'll go. That speech was awfully intimidating. All that stuff about journeys and first steps and sacrificing blood, sweat, tears, and souls. No wonder people were calling it the speech of doom. I feel oddly lied to. Could she not hear the sarcastic tone? Well, that's too wet though. Um, hello everyone. Please find a seat. I am Professor Cross and I'll be teaching Introductory Algebra 1. If you just realized you're in the wrong class, you should probably leave now, instead of sitting here embarrassed. After an awkward moment of silence, one student gets up and sheepishly exits the class. Ha, <laughs> there's always one. Or maybe I'm just that intimidating. Anyway, you'll be seeing me every Monday and Thursday, and classes will be two hours long. Today's an exception, being a first day and all. I see a lot of unhappy faces in here. It's true, algebra comes with a lot of problems, so this is why I have two very helpful teaching assistants. Ah, from before. He's cute. This is Miss Riddle and Mr. Porterfield. Oh, no need to be formal teach. Everyone, please call me Barbara. And I, Franco, will be available Mondays and Fridays after lunch. Unless you bribe them with cookies, then they don't mind helping during lunch, too. Now that's too informal. Coffee is perfectly acceptable, too. Students took a while the TAs hand out the class itinerary. When the class ends, I check my schedule. It does look like classes will end early for the first week. Annie and I wordlessly exit into the hallway together. Looks like I have marketing next. Same here, shall we stick together? I like that, thanks for letting me accompany you. I was worried I'd find college scary, my high school was so tiny. It's easier when you're with a familiar face, so why did you choose Kelvin Grove? I'm going because my parents graduated from here and vouched for its great education. I picked it since I heard good things about their programs, friendly staff and all that. Oh, and decent cafeteria food. But if the classes are over before lunch break, I wonder if it's worth staying to try it. I know, why don't we head to the caramel after class? The caramel? Caramel Mogachino. My friend owns the cafe, and it's right by campus. I haven't gone yet, so I was planning to swing by later today. If I'm not imposing... Of course not, we'll be seeing each other a lot over the semester. Then I'd like that. Oh, hey. Oh, wow, we just got ignored. Something wrong? Ian probably didn't hear me. He had such a serious expression, though. No, it's nothing. Let's go before all the good seats are gone. We take our seats with time to spare before our next class starts. Professor Cross seems tough but fair. I hope all of our teachers are as nice. Is there a reason you picked the business program? Not really. I picked it for the stability. It sounded like a 
you save cure trees yourself? Oh well, I'm on my mom a lot when she works, so sometimes I help with the advertising or the research. I don't know if I'm suited for it, but I couldn't think of a different program. So we'll see how it goes, let's do our best. Just then, the door opens and a middle-aged man enters the classroom. Everyone quiets down as he wordlessly picks up a marker and writes on the whiteboard. Introduction to marketing, Professor Riley. Good morning class, I'm Professor Riley and I'll be teaching Introduction to Marketing. Here we'll be covering the basic fundamentals of marketing while providing the tools you'll need to understand and explain these concepts. There will be a heavy emphasis on oral communication including presentations, speeches. Annie gulps and gives me a nervous look. I can tell she's already dreading this class, daunting introduction aside. At least class will be short today, maybe the caramel will take your mind off marketing. Having to make speeches is never fun. This, the caramel, it looks adorable. I bet it's even cuter on the inside knowing Enzo. Who's Enzo? Well, wow, it's beautiful. Penny. Oh, damn, that hair, though. Those are my hair goals. I want to grow my hair like that. It looks so good. I'm going to end it off here. So thank you guys so much for watching this episode. If you like this game, I will leave a link in the description to download it. And you can check out the Kickstarter where they will have more information about the game. And I will be playing the entire demo all the way through. I may play the full game when it comes out. Depending on how I like it. I really like it so far. I think it's super cute. But if you like this video, please give it a like. Comment down below. And subscribe to see more videos. I hope you have a wonderful day. And I will see you guys all in the next one. Bye-bye. 3, 2, 1, poof.